Welcome back everyone, I am the Moy Chicken and we are back with more Secret of Evermore. In the last episode we began our journey to find all of the things that Mr. Tinker Tinderbox needs to send us to space. Because space is supposedly where we will find a way back to Pudunk. Uh, in order to do that we need a bunch of like various things from around Evermore. So we're kind of on a little little tour de force uh, around Evermore to um, find stuff. The next thing we need to find, or in the last episode we found, we fought a second, um, Thrax, who for some reason was named Coleoptera, I think? Strange name. Um, and we got a wheel, and now we need to go to the volcano to get, this is our flying machine, it's super cool and definitely practical, um, we're going to the, the, the volcano to try to find a, uh, a pressure gauge. So, let's do that. Uh, that looks like the closest place. So let's land here. We. Uh, hello. Um, is this the dog statue? What's it doing here? Hey, dog statue. <laughs> it's just. It's just chillin'. What is it doing here? Alright, see you later, bro. <laughs> it's freaking weird. Huh. I guess the idea is that when that blew up, um, it landed over here, but I, I seem to remember it, like, disintegrated. Right? Ugh. I remember these monsters. They were very annoying. I definitely remember the raptors as being very annoying. It's just very hard to time when to hit the raptors, is really what it comes down to. They move so quick. And, like, when they get near you, they, they kick you, which does damage to you. So, you almost need them to run past you, or do whatever he did there. He just kind of popped a squat and I just stabbed him. Um, you also need them run past you to fight them. It's very strange. But they are no th Ah, no, stop that! They are no threat to me anymore, for I am mighty! And now we must try to find... I'm guessing it's probably going to be on this steam puzzle somewhere. We'll just kind of flutter about for a bit. That There's one we haven't opened. Maybe it's that. Oh, Kill. Nope. Alright. What's over here? Maybe this. Puff. Blomp. Okay, that's not helpful. Hmm. Maybe this? Whee! Friggin' dinosaur. Stop it. Stop it, dinosaur. Stop. <laughs> Stop, dinosaur. Stop. I don't like it, dinosaur. You're bad. Oh, okay, there we go. Whoosh. Lava. I don't want to land on that. No. Lava. Okay. Cool. I did it. There's the gauge. Okay, cool. Yay. Much victory. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Alright, well, that, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. Now we can, now we need to go to the, uh, the, what is the second world? Nobilia. Nobilia is the second region. Uh, this is Prehistoria, Prehistoria, Nobilia, and Gothica. Um, are the three regions, or, well, three of the, the three terrestrial regions, and then there's also the space station. Which I think is just called space station. Um, <clears throat> yes, we need to go to Nobilia because we need to find the diamond eyes of the dog statue. Which, surprisingly, we're not in the dog statue, which I just found. Um, so I guess we need to go and see Horus. Mr. Horus Highwater. And see if he can help us find what we're looking for. So let us away to Nobilia. Nob ah, me in! Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for not eating me. Appreciate it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Away! I 
I like this song for flying. It's a good it's a good flying song. Okay, now it's Gothica. Um what, Oh, that's the well. Okay. Um where is Can I land here? This looks important. Can I land here? No. Cannot land there. It's just It's just something that undeniably looks important. <laughs> Uh, do I have a map? Have a world map? Oh! Look at that! I, I, I actually did not know that was a thing in this game. Look at this! I do have a map! Oh, it's kind of fun. That's really cool. I, I had no idea that was a thing. Anyway, in the meantime, I have now found what I was looking for. Alright, where can I land? There's the Desert of Death. There's the bug. Oh, wait, what? Oh, here we go. Ah, here we go. Awesome. And there. Blomp. Alright. Let's get, go see our good friend Horus Highwater. And his Highwater pants. Because presumably he's wearing pants. I hope, at least. Alright, is he... Hello. I used to protect the sacred dog statue. Now I protect this giant hole. Okay, cool. See you later. <laughs> um, I'm guessing he's probably in the castle. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hello! I know the local monarch. Thank you. Hey, horse. By gum, it's my uh, young friend's moan, little Mac. I'm afraid I have unpleasant news to share with you. Danny has set himself up, self up as the leader of the Oglins in the depths of the pyramid. I fear the power has gone to his head. Should you try to talk some sense into him, please be very careful. I discovered a spell in the palace library that may help you. It requires one limestone and two parts bone. Oh, barrier does sound very nice. Okay. Thanks for the help. Uh, thanks for the help. We'll be careful. All right, so we're off to the pyramid then, I guess. Tiny has envisioned himself as a leader of goblins and is apparently causing havoc. So off we go to solve that, I guess. He just decided he wanted to be the leader of the goblins. He's like, I am the goblin leader due to my mighty muscles. Behold my muscles, they're so large and in charge. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. We can act... Hang on. I have an idea. Okay, so this is a bit of a detour. Bit of a detour, but what are my what are my videos except a bit of a detour? Um, let's... Now that we have access to, like, trading all over the world, we can probably get those things that were for sale that I couldn't afford before. So let me go and see what, what I need. And, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Hello, Tinker Tinderbox. How are you? Love your name. Love the name Tinker Tinderbox. Very funny. Oh, wait, but no, but is that... Is that gone now? Now that I think about it? Because we're in Evan Keep now. We're not in Ivor Tower. There may not be any sort of a uh, market anymore. I may have just missed out on those. Boo if I did. I'd be real disappointed if I did. Also, remember when I mentioned before that if that glitch uh, happens where you can't escape, get into Ebb and Keep, you can't actually enter any of this? Yeah. This place is completely blocked off if you don't, uh... Oh, hello. The Queen has a more open door policy than her evil robot twin had. I think it's for the better, but it's good to keep a type ship too. So we're just we're just assuming the previous queen was a robot, huh? Hmm. Oh hey, the flowers are back. Well that's nice. Hello. There's a group of mysterious creatures that lurk below the surface. They're called Uglins. Or they saw one once. Said it was seven feet tall with red eyes and big claws. Alright, well these these people are actually saying the same things they said 
when I first came here, so... Is this just Ebon Keep, or is this just uh, Ivor Tower, but in reverse? Oh, well, she said something different, and I didn't read it, so that's cool. Helpful. <laughs> I'm getting confused and quite tired of moving. Let's go see Cecil. What's up, Cecil? What's up, man? Hey! Uh, what do you have? Same stuff. Okay. Cool, though. Still cool that he's here. Still cool that Cecil... Oh. What? What? Do... Huh? You got trap doors or something? What's going on here? How'd you do that? Yeah. How'd you do that, man? I'd like to believe that it's not just, like, him teleporting or having, like, a twin, but rather that he's just got, like, an elaborate series of trap doors underneath the ground. The Cecil just saved my game. So cool. The Cecil Harvey himself. <laughs> Seishiro Harvey. Seishiro Harvey. Alright. Still looking for a market. Is there a market? Or am I just out of luck? Market? Market! Oh, uh, mar marketplace. Perfume? No. Okay. Money changer? Oracle Bone. Okay, so... Golden Jackal Statuette and Jeweled Scarab. Okay. So Jackal and a Scarab. Okay. Nice! I could just... I could just buy bazooka shots here. Cool! Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> Why are you selling these? Where did you get them from, madam? No. Okay, what about you? Beads? No. Oh, we missed out on it! Uh, no! <laughs> Boo! Boo! Oh, man. Alright, well, I can at least get the Oracle Bone. So, I need a, a Jackal and a Scarab. So, we gotta go back to Nobilia. Um, get the Jackal and the Scarab. And then, uh, come back here. So, this is gonna be the whole episode, probably. <laughs> oh, that's exciting, right? Commerce? I mean, I did get the gauge. You know, I showed you all how to get the gauge, so just let me get my stuff, okay? I really want an oracle bone. It's gonna be cool. I actually don't know exactly how the oracle bone works, because the description is... It makes people say things they would not otherwise say. So I don't know if that just means they have extra dialogue, or if it replaces the dialogue, or how it works. But I want it. <laughs> I want it. It's a thing, and I want it. That's all you need to know. It's a thing, and I want it. <laughs> so we're going to get it. Which name do you like better, Ebon Keep or Ivor Tower? I like Ebon Keep better. I think it sounds cooler. Um, but I think part of that's because I just like the word keep. Um, I first learned that term as it relates to castles from uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, where they had K. Rule's Keep. I had never heard that term before. That game. Alright, uh, where... There's the sands. Yes, here we go. This. Now we will land. We will go and see if I can get a golden jackal statuette. The jeweled scarab. Let's go find out.
Now let's go find out. Here we go. I think you got both of those through here, if I remember correctly. Alright. What do you need? Hello. Limestone tablets. Sure. Jules Carob. Okay. Uh, that sounds good. One. What? Oh no! What do I need? Hang on, what? I need spice and perfume. Okay, well. Alright, well, this is gonna happen again. Unfortunately, this time I don't have the benefit of, uh, having tons of, um, resources in advance. Tons of rice and spice. So I'll actually have to buy things. That's fun. All this, we are on a quest, a quest for the, uh, Oracle Bone. Yes. Val an important and valuable quest. Souvenir Spoon? No, it's just not for me. No, I don't have money. Uh, I need to get my money changed. Money changer! Money changer! There's the man that was a prophet and became a chicken. So it was altogether an improvement in his life. Um, who's the? Are you the money? You're the money changer, I think. Yeah. What? No. No. Who's the money changer? Someone is a money changer. Hmm. How can you pass up my deals? How do you do it? Where's the money changer? Exostic, sunstone... Chicken... Oh, here we go. Sure. Gold coins. Two jewels for every gold coin. Okay. I have lots and lots of jewels now. <laughs> I have so many jewels. I was gonna, I was just gonna buy it all up. Buy up all the things. Hello. Yeah, 20. Give me that. Yeah, 20. Give me that. Yeah, 20. More, please. All the rice. Oh. Okay, we're good. What do you got? Fine spice. Yeah. Rice. Ten. More spices, please. More spices, please. Oh. How am I done? Um, I got a lot of spice. Now I gotta get a lot of rice. Hey. Yeah. More. More. More! More! More, please. More? Oh, okay. Um, alright, so we got that. Now we need beads, I think. What do you have? Would you like a fish? No. I don't want a fish. Thank you. Imported rice. No. It's twice the price of the lady over there. Ridiculous. Um, what do you have? Armor polish. No. Screw you. No, I don't want that. No. What do you have? Amy of Annihilation. No. You're shrewd. No. <laughs> Thanks. Golden Jackal, yes. Five jars of spice or two chickens. Yes, I have spice. Okay, so now the only other one we need is the Jeweled Scarab, and for that I needed... What did he want? Perfume, I think. He said spice and perfume. Who, what are you? You are... 
buddy, you have the worst price in the marketplace. Three times the price of that other lady. Sure. This is not actually a good deal, if I remember correctly. Alright, cool. Um, cool. Uh, I need perfume. Hello. Three jars of spice. Sure. Three. More, please. Sure. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. I think that's probably going to be enough. Let's go see. Let's go see this exciting trading episode. Do you enjoy the barter system? Why slash in? If why, please watch my, str my, my stream. Also, please watch my streams, but watch this video. <laughs> Look at my floofy hair. What kind of what kind of conditioner he he does to make it all floofy like that? All right, hello, sir. Give me that golden scarab or jeweled scarab. That sounds good. Just one. Cool. All right. So now we fly all the way back to Gothica. Get that stupid thing. Oracle Bone. It'll be very exciting. I'm sure. If you have not clicked off this episode yet, please watch my episode. Watch my episode about commerce. It's very exciting. Ooh. All right, up we go. Flitting through the sky. Aloft. Aloft on the breeze. Okay. And for brevity's sake, we're going to do two cuts here because I just thought of something. One of them may not happen, <laughs> but I'm going to have Ed cut here to bring us back to my getting the Oracle Bone. So, Ed, cut. Okay, welcome back. Get in the thing. Oracle Bone. Yeah. I did it. I now have the Oracle Bone. Where is it? Oracle Bone. Some characters will often offer additional clues. I want to see that in action. Hey, give me a clue. Clue. Someone give me clues. Clues, please. Clue. Someone give me a clue. Man. Alright. So, second cut's happening now. Well, there's no one here. Bye, everyone! <laughs>